So if you've ever heard of something called the Drawdio, then you'll know that the Drawdio is an ideal project for using this conductive ink with. Uh, if you want to look up Drawdio because you've never um, heard of it, it's really worth looking up. It's D-R-A-W-D-I-O. And it's kind of like a playable piano. It's a bit of electronic circuitry strapped to a pencil. You draw a dot on the wall and you put your finger on the dot, run the pencil along and it will play music. You can also do it on uh, a tap, uh, a wet brush, all kinds of things. It's really very cool. But it really lends itself well to playing around with these inks. Now, I've redesigned it slightly, and this is the redesign. Now, I'm sure you can't see that very well, and I'll put a slide up. But the actual circuit is there. And it's one centimeter by two centimeters. Now, that is really, really tiny. It's a very tiny circuit. Um, and I drew that in with um, my ink because you can use a dip pen with the ink which means it gives you a great deal of control over it and you get very fine lines and here it is all filled in so like I said that's the actual circuit itself and when the components are on there you put one finger on here and touch these bits here and as you touch those bits it will play a tune so that's the basics of the draw to your circuit again I'll flash these up for you and leave them on a little bit so you can see so now I'm going to put the electronic components on here and I'm going to use SMD components and they're tiny. So I'll use a magnifying glass, uh, spot glue them on and then connect them with a syringe and um, some more of my ink and then come back to you. So here is the painted audio circuit, and that is the actual circuit itself. Now I know you can't really see it, it's absolutely tiny. Uh, it's one centimetre by two centimetres with SMD components, and I can tell you it took quite a while to put them on. I used a magnifying glass and a safety pin, and it took a while. But the point of it is, it's a real circuit. It's, it's not a sort of um, big, thick, clumsy painted circuit that you often see with um, conductive inks it's actually a tiny little thing and um, I did see a guy put one of these into a glove and he had a big old bulky circuit here on the glove this thing would actually fit in the finger of the glove so it's kind of really cool I was, I was uh, quite pleased with that actually that I could get it so small and that it works so well so let's uh, set it up and then uh, give it a play for you There are hundreds of Drawdios all over the place. People are doing some uh, really weird things with them and putting them into really weird places. Um, but that's not the point. The point really is not to make a Drawdio, but to make a circuit that is a real circuit, if you like. So I painted this, actually I did it with a pen mostly, um, drew this onto the piece of paper. But if you wanted to set up a silk screen print, then you could run off thousands of these things. And I can see real potential with that. Um, for instance, playable birthday cards, or um, cards that play you a tune, but cost absolute pennies to produce. And I made this for about 10 pence, and that was with buying the things um, on eBay. So if you're a, a producer, you'd probably be able to make this for pennies, really. So you could uh, run off thousands of printed circuits, glue on your components, and you're going to be able to produce thousands of these things if you wanted to. So the point was to show you that a circuit, a real circuit, could be made just by painting or printing or stenciling it, or silk screen printing it. And that's the idea. So there is a real circuit, if you like, with uh, the conductive ink. Anyway, this is all part of the Indiegogo campaign, so if you like what you're seeing and you feel like supporting me, please do feel uh, free to visit Indiegogo, and uh, all donations are gratefully received. Thank you for watching.